Hello, I'm Ant Joblin and welcome to Wall Street Connected, the show that highlights what Wall Street's finest are researching online. Today we're going to talk about the world's largest airline, American Airlines Group. The firm is based in Texas and came to life in 2013 following the merger of AMR Corporation, the parent company of American Airlines, and US Airways Group, the parent company of US Airways. COVID, as you can imagine, had a huge impact on the airline industry, wiping $34 billion off valuations last year. And as of mid-January this year, American Airlines was the most shorted stock in the sector, with 25% of the outstanding float. However, since March last year, the stock is up 78% from the COVID lows, and so far in 2021, it has traded as high as 45% up year-to-date and looks to be gaining support from its 50-day moving average. With early vaccine data showing cautiously positive results, the medium to long-term outlook for airlines looks to be improving. However, the firm's fourth quarter results show that American Airlines posted a net loss of $2.2 billion for the period, led by a 69% drop in passenger revenue. However, that said, expectations were gloomy, so the market reaction was more bullish than most would expect. Trackstar IQ, our proprietary search tracking tool, shows that over the past week, 12 institutional investors made 13 searches in the firm. Looking to the street, 33 analysts cover the firm and they have a 72% sell consensus percentage. There is no clear path for this stock, but it presents some fascinating what-if scenarios for investors to ponder. What we know is that it was stress-tested to the point of exhaustion last year, so a further leg lower would require a major setback. And with vaccines appearing to have an impact, we may find the skies opening up faster than anticipated. US air traffic is currently down 60% on its historical averages, which suggests there is a lot of room to rebound into. So, with a cautiously optimistic outlook and a sizable amount of short positions perhaps needing to be covered, this might end up being a stock worth keeping an eye on. That's all we have time for this week, but as usual, make sure you do your due diligence before making any investment decisions. To find out more about our Trackstar IQ data, sign up to our free newsletter at investingchannel.com/trackstar.